Blue Beetle, though it was made before James Gunn's big reboot, is said to be well, vaguely part of James Gunn's DC Universe. Smart to say that, since saying, hey, the new movie coming out, it doesn't matter. It's getting rebooted anyway. It causes people to not go watch your new movie. You get what you're doing, DC. At least they're learning from their mistakes. Respectable. So Blue Beetle, a new DC movie, also a character I, I don't know much about outside of Injustice 2, gonna be honest with you. Pony's a robotic world-ending death scarab from outer space, latches onto a dude, he becomes Blue Beetle, and now he's gotta, you know, save the day. Also, family. Now, Sholo Maeduena is the lead in this film, he's the Blue Beetle. I mean, he's, he's the heart and soul of Cobra Kai, has been since the first season, and he does bring that energy here. Obviously, he plays a very different character, but still has that essence of... He seems like a good kid. I mean, it's weird to call him a kid. He is in his 20s, but I'm just saying he has that essence of, you know, he just, he seems nice from people who have interviewed him. They say he's nice just as a human. In a film like this, especially one that heavily revolves around a family dynamic, you want someone you can relate to and be like, hey, we're rooting for you here. He does bring that to the character. I'm saying that's when it's him, the face we know, the human we're rooting for. That's when the film's actually at its best. When he becomes the big bad Beetleborg, it just feels like a lot of superhero stuff we've seen a lot of, which is kind of funny. The Blue Beetle character is actually, I think he's from 1939. Kind of ironic to me that a character that's so old, just in the echelon of comic book characters, has a movie that feels like it's borrowed so much from other comic book characters' movie. But the family dynamic was really the heart and soul of the film, though it was a little tonally inconsistent. There are moments where it feels like this movie was made to be a more hardcore version of itself, and they were like, eh, maybe we should market this towards kids a little more. Let's change the music in a couple scenes, that'll help. And his transformation scene, his transformation scene in the trailer looks intense. You're like, oh my god, I would freak out if that happened to one of my family members. Or we can make jokes, have a lighthearted song choice to go with it, sure. I'm not saying a movie has to take itself too seriously. I'm running out of ways to say it, because that's a very common complaint I have, where it's like the movie was too lighthearted, made jokes at the wrong time. There were characters it did work with, like with the grandma, I was like, full pass, that works. Cause that's kind of ironic and amazing. Granny kicking ass with a Gatling gun just works. What can I say? It does feel a little campy in the way it just kind of lingers on it for a little longer than it needs to. But what can I say? I was having fun with that. Also, George Lopez, I thought was great in the movie too. I mean, he is a seasoned comedian and comedic actor. So absolutely he does crush it in that respect. But that's kind of my point in a world where a lot of these comic book movies want to make everything funny. The seasoned comic knows how to do it and have the comedy not overstay its welcome. And in terms of drama, gotta give credit where credit's due. There was one scene in particular, I was like, that worked. That was, good job, movie. <laughs> you did it. And there was another moment with another character it came later in the film. I liked that one too. Could have gone for more of it involving that character. But I digress. As for the baddies, you have Susan Sarandon playing passive-aggressive racist CEO Karen Batty. Then you have another dude who looks like he was plucked straight from Cyberpunk 2077. As for Cyberpunk 2077-ish Batty, I thought he was the most interesting character in the movie. Until he starts fighting Blue Beetle, and then he becomes something out of Tron, and then he's just less interesting. He's just a big robot-looking thing fighting Blue Beetle. Could have gone for an entire film revolving around him, to be completely honest with you. Who knows, maybe we can still get it. But yeah, this movie definitely does have a mask problem. It's like, oh, human faces? Great, characters. Then masks come on, they start fighting. Oh, okay, well, it just feels like everything I've seen before a fucktillion times at this point. I did like how the family was way more hardcore than Blue Beetle was, <laughs> you know, because the suit can kind of make anything. So it's like, oh, we can make, you want to wipe baddies out? Here are some guns. He's like, no guns, no killing. He's like Batman or something. His family though, yeah, they end lives. They'll kill folk. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I don't know. You think they talk about it at the barbecue? Do you think he's like, well, I, I definitely have a thing against killing people and you all absolutely do not. I kind of feel a certain way about that. It kind of came across as an inconsistency that the movie makes a point to be like, killing is bad, and that's a thing with Blue Beetle. His family though, they will put folks in the ground and no one cares. Look, in the end, like I said, I thought Sholo Maeduena, I thought he was great as the lead. He brings that likability that you've seen in Cobra Kai and he brings it here in comic book movie form. I just feel like I've seen this movie before in the form of a few other movies. Granted, most movies out there are a Frankenstitch 
of at least a couple other movies woven together to make something seemingly new. But in the comic book movie subgenre, it's easier to notice when your movie seems to be pulling from a few other comic book movies. For the most part, this film felt like it would have been great if it came out in 2004. There's some stiff competition out there and the elements you see in here I feel like you can get in other comic book movies that have done it better. Maybe it'll be a better time if you're drunk. Yeah, now it's a party. All right, so Blue Beetle, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more. <laughs>